Hello YouTube! This is Phantom Roy, and welcome to Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette in Foxborough, Massachusetts. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game. And subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Packers. It's the Bears. It's Mad Madness. And it's time to get going. And the Bears are back awaiting the kickoff. So Green Bay will kick the ball off, which means that they'll get the ball to start the second half. And they'll take the free 25 as he takes a knee. Out comes Mitchell Trubisky. And this was the kid that got that the Bears traded up for in the draft last year. And they paid a pretty penny for him. Let's see if the payment pays off. Remember that the stats of the QBs in Madden Madness are at a minimum of 80. So if your Q if your QB is Aaron Rodgers, his stats won't be affected at all. It's just that Trubisky's stats will be bumped a bit. And this is one of those teams that has a lot of parts around the quarterback, but the quarterback's just not there. So if Let's see what he can do as a 80 overall as Jordan Howard gets knocked down for a loss of one on the first play of the game. And this is the kind of pseudo strength of the Packers is sometimes their defense can step up, especially in the run game or running defense, but usually it's pretty rough. And they're kind of in a Saints situation where over the past couple years where great quarterback rough defense good offense the whole nine yards and Howard pushes him his way forward for a gain of about six it's gonna be third and five just like that And they'll break huddle with just under 10 seconds on the play clock. And four receivers for Trubisky. As he's out in the shotgun, Trubisky's going to throw his first of the game. And he is right. He gets some yards after the carry, or after the catch, and they're at midfield. So the Bears are going to convert on their first third down attempt for a pretty big game. And this is what the Bears really need to do if they want to make a move in the NFC next year. He's not a coach anymore in the real world, John Fox. But what Chicago really needs to do is they need wide receivers. They could do with some better linemen. Their defense is surprisingly good, so... They might need one or two players on that front, but their offense needs a big improvement as Howard gets gained or loses one. And Howard's really the shining point of their offense. I know I had him on my fantasy league last year. And that's one thing about John Fox that I never understood is he never really used Howard. And in the games when he did use him, they won. So five wide, Trubisky alone in the shotgun on second and 11. Trubisky's going to scramble up the field. He takes the hit. And he's tackled down after a gain of eight. Third and three coming up. And it's a good job by Trubisky setting up that third and short. When it's man coverage, quarterback's uncovered, 
and he can just turn it upfield for some free yards. And Trubisky's going to be in the shotgun again. So a little bit aggressive here on third down. And he hits Sims. He's two for two, and this one, he's got 31 yards. So that's back-to-back -back third down conversions that the Packers cannot get the stop. He's going to break huddle and come out under center. Bunch of receivers to his right, one receiver to his left, and he's going to delay the handoff to Howard. And Howard's got a decent game, and that could have broke big if he didn't run into his own guy there. As it is, it's going to be a sec second and four. It was a gain of six. Trubisky under center, showing the same formation as on the previous play. And Trubisky's going to throw here, dump it off to Howard over the middle. He's got a good gain, a gain of about nine. And it's enough to move the chains once again. Just like that, Chicago's in the red zone. So Trubisky's been sharp. He hasn't missed a throw yet. Hasn't had an incompletion. But this is where it gets difficult, is in the red zone, because the defense bunches up, the offense bunches up, and the windows become a lot tighter. Let's see what he can do here. Trubisky's going to throw here, and he misses his target, his first incompletion of the game, which does stop the clock. And we'll take a look at the Bears' offense. Josh Sitton, who will be a free agent just in today. Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard leading the backfield, and Cohen has some moves too. So the Bears is, are turning into one of those teams that will play that time of possession game where they'll run the ball, try and not turn it over, and as I say that, they're going to pass it <laughs> on second and ten, which they do hit Bellamy, and he catches it for a gain of about five as the ball is moved up to the 12. And here's the Packers' defense. And they've been a perennial issue for the Packers. Let's see if they can stop them here on third and five. The third, third down of the game. And the third, third down of the drive. And the Bears have been really balanced on their play call, play calling. Three receivers for Trubisky as he's under center. He's going to throw. Trubisky rolls to his left, cuts up field, and he up, gets it down to the one. Doesn't get the touchdown, but he does get the first down. First and goal upcoming. So they're three for three on third down in this game. And just nobody by him. And that's something you have to account with these young quarterbacks is they're not afraid to run. The offense is really hard to learn, so it's a lot easier to just tuck it and run. And the Packers have to realize that if they want to stop the Bears on offense. So first and goal from the one. And with Howard, a smart play call, well actually three smart play calls would be run, run, run. But they come on the balance set, which will not create a play. And that's going to be the end of the first. So Bears have had the ball the entire first quarter. Tied game 0-0, zero, zero, but Bears are on the one. All right, 
we're back. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see how this tournament plays out. But for now, we're back to this first and goal at the one. See if the Packers, who have a running defense as their strength, and the Bears, who have a running offense as their strength, we'll see which strength wins. Trubisky under center. Running formation for the offense. And Howard's blown up. It's a loss of two. Second and goal upcoming. That's what the Packers absolutely needed on that first down. The line just lost on that one. And when you have negative plays this deep in the red zone, right next to the goal line, it's very deflating. And it makes you have to pass, which it's very hard to pass into the red zone on these very tight yardage situations. Trubisky in the shotgun. Balance set. He runs it to Howard, and <laughs> the Bears line is just blown up. Wow. So I guess the Packers have woken up. So that's back-to-back -back. runs for loss. So after running it twice for a loss, the Bears are going to have to come out throwing here on third and goal from the seven. Bounce formation for Trubisky. Trubisky's going to throw. Time in the pocket. And he just throws it away. Smart move by the rookie, I guess, technically still. Good throw by the rookie. Out of bounds. Keeps that ball out of Green Bay's hands. And Chicago's going to get what should be an easy field goal. Kicks away. And it's good. And that's the longest drive that Madden Madness has seen yet. It's about a nine minute drive. And when you're f playing against Aaron Rodgers, that's probably the best thing you can do is keep the ball out of his hands. But he's got to get the ball eventually. And we'll see if Chicago's defense can step up to stop him. Just over three, five and a half minutes left in the second as Green Bay will get the ball for the first time. Bears finish that drive three of four on third down. So pretty good. Davis is going to run it out of zone and zone. And Davis gets it close to the 25, dropped just short at the 23. So they're going to call that a 26 yard return. Out comes Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, who missed all, what, 12 weeks in 2017 because of his broken collarbone caused by Anthony Barr against the Vikings in Week 5. And they had a chance to make the playoffs if Rodgers could come back healthy. He came back, but he was not healthy as soon as he came out against Carolina, we knew. He was, his balls were underthrown. Green Bay just looked out of whack, but they still had a chance to win the game. As Rodgers is under center, takes the handoff, and Rodgers is walloped on first down. Danny Trevathan, <coughs> Danny Trevathan the ex-Bronco, with the sack. And that's part of the reason that his collarbone was broken. Offensive line can block and let guys through to lay the hits on the quarterback. You can't have that and expect your quarterback to last a long time, especially at Rodgers' age. He's not a spring chicken anymore, as they say. <laughs> so the ball's going to come out to the four, or the 15, second and 18. Rodgers under center in the eye. Fakes the handoff. Rodgers rolls to his left. Throws across his body. Up downfield, and Adams has it. 
That's his first throw of the game, and what a way to start off the game. Devontae Adams. And just like that, Packers go from one end of the field to the other. Wow. That's one of the best catches in Madden Madness so far. So Chicago takes nine minutes to go 100 yard or 75 yards, and the Packers go 40 in one minute or so. <laughs> Second and six coming up after the short run. I can't get over that catch. That was insane. His first throw of the game, too. That's what Rodgers can do, though. Just throw off his back foot. Just a crazy anywhere in the field. Williams going to run. And he's not going to go anywhere. He's dropped at the line. So third and five for the pack attack. Randall Cobb in the slot. Rodgers flanked by two running backs. Rodgers rolls to his right. Hits Kendricks over the middle. He's got the first. And a little bit more. So the Packers are 100% on third down thus far. And we're just under two and a half left in the fourth. Just a simple throw over the middle. A little screen or a slant pattern. Trevathan has one tackle and one sack thus far for the Bears. And they're not they're just gonna let it run to down to the two-minute warning. So Green Bay has the ball, but they're down 0-3. Driving now. Alright, we're back. Packers are down 0-3, but they do have the ball in near the red zone of Chicago. So here we go, Green Bay breaks huddle. And Rodgers is alone in the backfield. Rodgers throws immediately to Kendricks, and Kendricks has a first down and more. A gain of 15 out to the 9, and Rodgers is 100% on his drive. First and goal just like that. That's Kendrick's second catch of the, of the drive. And it seems like they're running a um, zone coverage. And if you run his own coverage against Rodgers, you can expect him to pick you apart like that. So Green Bay is going to come out in the bounce set. Rodgers going to throw. Steps up in the pocket, avoiding pressure. Rodgers runs it right up to the two. Gain of seven. Second and goal upcoming. And that's good for the Packers because now they can just run the clock down. And Chicago shouldn't, unless they take a timeout. Should not have any time left to get to mount a drive. Which, if I'm Chicago, I'd be taking timeouts right now because you're, you're gonna get three plays anyway. Any so goal line formation on both sides. Rogers hands it to Williams, and he's blown up. There's been no running game thus far and Green Bay is going to take a timeout to think about this third down. Bears still lead to three zip. John Fox the ex Bronco looks on as Green Bay gets ready for their third and goal attempt. 
Chicago scored, was not able to score on their last third down and goal. So we'll see if Green Bay can do what Chicago could not. Just under a minute to play in the second. The clock is stopped, so Chicago should get the ball back. Rodgers rolls right. Steps up and dumps it. Throws it away incomplete. And Green Bay is going to settle for three now. Had a chance at the go-ahead touchdown, but instead... They're going to settle for three. It's going to be 3-3 three, three ball game, and Chicago's going to have a chance to get the lead going into intermission. Mason Crosby for the field goal. Chip shot. It's good. So we have a 3-3 three, three ball game at the half. thing I should say about Green Bay's um, coaching staff is the fact that basically everything except for McCarthy is getting a re reworking in this offseason. Um, without Rodgers it was very clear that the Packers could not have the did not really have a team except for him. <laughs> so Cohen's going to catch it and take the knee but the Packers just needed a new change and that Packers fans have known it for a long time that the Packers really had a struggling team without Rodgers and Rodgers was basically picking up the slack if you just looked at their win-losses though you couldn't tell so Green Bay thought they had a better team than they had apparently but once Brett Huntley entered the equation rough season so the Bears will come out at the 25. Trubisky's going to run a screen play to Howard, and Howard can't get away. It's going to be a loss of one, and clock is going to run. We'll see if Chicago is content to go to halftime tied. It seems that they will. Seems like Green Bay's been running some tight man-to-man -man coverage as well, which is why Trubisky was able to scramble earlier in this game, and that's why the screen pass doesn't work. And the clock will run down, so this will be the last play of the first half. Barring something strange. Howard, and he goes nowhere. Green Bay's going to take a timeout. <laughs> and they're going to force Chicago to try and make a mistake here on third down. All right, third and 11 for the Bears. And they actually have to run a play here on third down. Let's see what they elect to do. They'll just take a knee. So I'm not really sure what Green Bay was thinking with that timeout there. But as it is, as it stands, 3-3 at the half. But in Mad Madness, there's no such thing as halftime. So just like that, we're in the start of this third quarter. Third quarter. Three points for Chicago, three points for Green Bay. Kicks coming from the 35. And Packers will get the ball to start the second half. So I was really conservative of Chicago to try and not push the ball down the field with a full minute and a full set of timeouts. After the screen pass that didn't really work to Howard. 
see if that comes back to bite him. Davis is going to run it out of his own end zone. And they're going to give him an extra yard. So a net gain of one on the decision to return it. And here comes the Packers offense. They got down the field really quickly on their last drive, but it was all for not. They had to settle for three. And we'll see if Chicago can figure out how to stop them from even just getting into field goal range here. As Green Bay comes out. Rodgers under center. And before the snap, flag down on the field. It's number 90, Jonathan Bullard. So free five yards. Sets up the Packers. And the Packers like to take shots in, this situa in these situations. So if I'm the Bears, I'd better look out. Rodgers under center, running formation for the offense. Audible's at the line. Rodgers going to throw. Throws over the head of his receiver, incomplete. So, second and five now. And they're just going to pretend that that was a five-yard completion. Rodgers under center. Audibles. Delayed handoff to Williams. And Jonathan Williams has his biggest gain of the game. And it's enough for a first down. So he's averaging two and a half yards a carry. He's averaging near zero before that run. So you got to start somewhere. Rodgers getting ready for this next snap. So Green Bay's play selection has been very balanced thus far. And they're going to come out in the running formation again. Rodgers is going to run left with Williams. And Williams dodges the defender, but it gets tripped up by his own man. So it could have been a lot more, but it's only a gain of three. So the Bears get a break on that one. Second and seven on upcoming as Rodgers comes out in the shotgun. Bears showing pressure. They will blitz, and Rodgers sensing it, throws it immediately. It's a little bit off on his target, incomplete. Third and seven. So the Packers are one for two on third down. Of course, they're only failure to convert was on that oh low snap Jones incomplete basically it, the run goes for nothing but as I was saying before the only incomplete um, conversion was that third down third and goal so for this play I should say So Chicago gets a stop it needs and forces the Packers to punt. Vogel kicks away and it gets into the end zone, touchback. First and 10. So first and ten for the Bears from their own 20. And you can hear Green Bay's fans in the audience. 
They are loud. Trubisky in a running formation. So Trubisky dumps it off to Shaheen, who gets a gain of about five on the quick throw. Second and five coming up. So Green Bay and Chicago has had second and five on their drives in this half. After their second or after their first play of the drive. Running formation for Trubisky. Strong to his left. And Trubisky's going to throw, though. And he's going to roll to his right. Cut up field. No, he's going to dump it down the field. And, oh, Brown almost got that. But it's incomplete. And another third down. This will be the Bears' sixth third down attempt. And they're three for five, trying to make it four, four, six. Four receivers for Trubisky as he gets ready to throw. Goes, throws down the field. Incomplete. Had his man. He had an angle. The ball just couldn't get there. And that's a really tough throw. That's a really tough throw. I appreciate. I appreciate the. Uh, I appreciate the uh, aggressiveness, but it's a really tough throw to ask your <laughs> it's basically rookie quarterback to make. O'Donnell with the punt, though, and Green Bay is going to get the ball right back. Catches it at the 19. Cobb is knocked down hard at the 19. Maybe I said 14. Uh, anyways, next play. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through or not, but I'm freaking tired. So Green Bay. Gonna break huddle. And he's in the shotgun. All alone. Expecting the pass. Rogers. Throws immediately off his back foot. It's Adams. And Adams gets a 12-yard gain out to the 33. So one play, one first down. Adams has 60 yards on two catches. And I think it was just a simple screen or uh, slant route. And those can be deadly if you use them at the right time. Bunch set to his left, one receiver to his right, as well as one running back. Rogers going to throw. Hits Cobb over the middle, and Cobb spins it around a defender. And he gets close to the goal line, or to the yard to the first down. But I think they're going to give him the first down. Because it's where the ball is, it's not where the player is. And it's one of those weird things where that spin gets his right arm over the line as he gets knocked down. So basically only part of his arm and the ball got over that line. And now what the Packers can look at doing, they've done some quick throws down low. So let's see if they go to the, try to take the top off this defense. Rogers gonna throw. He's going to scramble up the field, quarterback draw, and that's a gain of only one. So Chicago has the edge in time of possession, but it is still a tied ball game. And Green Bay has a chance to take the lead here, even though they have a minute less, or a minute and a half less of time of possession. So they'll break huddle. Rodgers in a running formation. Fakes the handoff. So Rodgers scrambles. And he's taken down for a sack. It's Akeem Hicks. 
So that's going to bring up a third and very long for the Packers. And I'm not sure. He just kind of ran himself into that sack. Interesting. You don't see Rodgers run himself into a sack very often. Third and 13 upcoming. Three receivers. Rodgers in the shotgun. Rodgers rolls to his right. Throws on the run. And it's over his head. So. 3-3 three, three so far. As... The score's gonna stop here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm tired. Um, punter out to kick. Vogel kicks away. And it's gonna sail into the end zone for a touchback. He's close on those kicks. He just needs better bounces. And they need to be a few more feet to the right or a few feet closer to the sideline so the Bears will get the ball on their own 20 yard line as we get down towards the end of the third just under 40 seconds to play Trubisky under center Howard in the backfield Trubisky is going to run it left with Howard. And Howard almost makes three men miss, but they converge on him. And as you can see there, the neither team can really rush the ball, which is surprising for the Bears considering their running back that they have. But Green Bay is outgained Chicago in this one. All right, end of the third, 3-3. Three, three. Bears have the ball in this tightly contested affair. So 3-3 three, three, as we get ready to start the fourth. And this has the feel of the, one of those games where one team's going to break through, they're going to score a touchdown, and the team that scores a touchdown first is going to win this game. So the Bears are going to have that first chance as they break huddle for this second and seven. Trubisky in the shotgun. Howard behind him. Trubisky dumps it to Sims on the curl. And that's just going to bring him out a couple more yards short of the first down. Third and two coming up. And this could be a very critical third down so far, the most critical one of the game. They're three for six on third down as Trubisky comes out under center in a running formation, hands it to Howard, and Howard's got the first and a couple more yards. So the drive will continue. And he wasn't even touched until he got to the second level. And that's when you know your lineman did their job right. Is when he doesn't get touched until he's got some distance. So a fresh set of downs for Chicago. And a perfect drive for Chicago as Trubisky comes under center would be for them to... Howard gets blown up. <laughs> It'd be a perfect drive would be to avoid that, but an even more perfect drive would be to run this clock down, get a touchdown near the end of the quarter, and leave Rodgers as little time as possible to match. 
But after a loss of two like that, it's going to be a lot harder to get this next first down. We'll see what they can draw up here as they break huddle for a second and 12. And Packers have a lot of men up close as Howard gets the delayed handoff. And he's got a first down, breaks the tackle. And he pushes himself forward down to the 44. So Chicago's on the edge of field goal range after the run. And also Chicago's the first team to have their running game finally break one. So that was a very important run. Fox continuing to run now. Just under four and a half minutes to play. As Trubisky comes out in another running formation. Three receivers. Trubisky fakes the handoff. He's scrambling. He's panicking. He's rolling to his left. He's cutting up field. Trubisky. Big gain. And they're in the red zone for Green Bay. And that brings up a fresh set of downs. So effectively, they don't even need the touchdown here. If they can run the clock right, they can get out of here with a field goal attempt. And they can win this game 6-3. to three. But that's a ways off for now as Trubisky comes out. Four receivers. Trubisky's going to throw here. He rolls to his right. And he's taken down after slipping the tackle. It's Blake Martinez with the sack. That's going to be a loss of four. Second and 14 coming up. They already had one tw second and 12 they could overcome. Now they have to two overcome an even harder one. Trubisky is going to break huddle now, second and 14. We'll see how conservative they are with this play call. Trubisky's under center. It's balanced formation. Howard runs to his right, and he gets a couple of yards, gain of three. So you're going to have a third and ten. And the Bears are currently four for seven, trying to make it four or five for eight. So, clock runs down to the two minute warning. And Chicago, third and 10. This will be the most critical play of the game thus far. We'll get, get to it and see what happens after this. All right, tied ball game here, 3-3. Three, three. The Bears have been chewing away the clock here trying to get the final play of the game third and ten though for the Bears this is the play of the game thus far Trubisky under center in the eye Trubisky hands it to Cohen and he's blown up loss of two so Green Bay is going to take a timeout, and they'll get the ball back here. Chicago is going to take the field goal after this timeout. So Chicago has a short field goal here to take the lead, but you got to wonder, is it going to be enough? You have Aaron Rodgers on the other side of the field there, standing next to McCarthy, ready to frickin' <laughs> ready to have a last second comeback and he has no screws in his arm right now it'll be his it'll be he'll be the driver of this game 
of course, first the field goal. Kicks away. It's good. Chicago has the lead with less than two minutes left. And Green Bay is going to get the ball now with two timeouts. Right down Broadway. And the Bears will kick it away. Cobb takes the knee. And they're going to take the free 25 and try and keep as much time on the clock as possible. So out comes Rodgers. He's done this plenty of times. Let's see if he can overcome yet another deficit. And Chicago can taste this one. They just need to stop here. And honest, and I'm not a Green Bay fan or a Chicago fan, or I don't follow them very closely. But I can't remember the last time the Bears have beaten the Packers. Rodgers, Kendricks, caught. Five-yard gain. Rodgers is going to hurry back. Five wide. Rodgers alone in the backfield. Rodgers is going to throw. No, he's not. He's going to tuck it and run. Rodgers slides down at the 38. Clock is running. Green Bay is going to hurry back to the line. Alone again in the shotgun. Rodgers. Steps up for a second. Throws deep down the field. He's got Cobb. And just like that, Green Bay is in field goal range. They're going to hurry back to the line. They want a touchdown. They just don't They don't want to just tie it. Rodgers. He's going to cut up field. And he's going to take the tackle. Tackle down at the 29. Gain of seven. Third and three upcoming. They're going to hurry back. Just earned their a minute to play. Five wide. Rodgers alone in the backfield. He's going to throw. Nearly pit. Oh! It's jumbled, jumbled around. Cobb had it for a quarter of a second after it hit the defender's hands. But it's going to fall incomplete, and that will stop the clock. Third and three upcoming. So the Packers here. Yeah, we'll skip that. So this will be their, fir their fifth attempt. They're two for four thus far. We'll see what they do here. If they don't get this conversion, they're going to have to settle for the field goal. So to keep the drive alive. Rodgers under pressure and he's sacked. Sacked down by Houston. And the clock's running fourth and ten. And Green Bay's gonna have to settle for three points. The defense needed to make a play and they made one. And Green Bay is going to try and run this thing down so Chicago won't have any time to answer this field goal. Crosby from near midfield. 43-yard line he'll be kicking it from. And the kick's no good. No good. And Chicago is going to win this ball game. Wow. And the Packers will fall to the Chicago Bears. So Chicago's only going to have to take the knee, and that'll be the end of that one.
So Chicago, well, Green Bay is going to take some timeouts to get themselves mentally ready for those post-game press conferences. And Trubisky's going to take the final knee unless Green Bay takes another timeout, which they will. They're going to make Chicago run one more play, which will just be a knee. And what an upset this has been. So you have the Eagles eliminated, you have the Patriots eliminated, and now Green Bay is going to be eliminated. So next week, I'll show you guys after this play, but next week it's going to be the Vikings and the Bears. Well, not next week, but next the next round. So that's it. Chicago wins this one. Six to three. Let's take a look at the updated brackets. And in the bottom right hand corner, not corner, but just above the corner, where it says uh, AFC North, you'll see right there the Bears will advance and the Packers will stay where they are and they'll go home. So just three games left in the first round. And there we have it. The Chicago Bears will win 6-3. to three, And they'll get to move on to the next round. So what was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments. And like the video if you enjoyed it. So until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying have a good one.